Hey guys, I hope you're all doing well. Welcome to my completed pages video for the month of November. I finished around 25 to 27 pages. I didn't count them uh, all, but uh, I'm going to show you right now. So let's get into it. So in the Travel Mosaic, which is one of the books that I would love to finish, maybe not this year, but still have a couple of pages left. But I finished two this month, which is this one here. And this one here, the London Bridge. I used up some of the alcohol markers that were running out, so uh, I can finally start a new set. Those were two in Travel Mosaic. Then I started working in the Color by Number Quest circles, and I also did two. The first one here, which is the cover image. And the second one is this cute little house cottage with a garden very pretty imagery here in the color by number quest circles then in the coloring quest animals which i also hope to finish i did this one the red panda very cute stone mosaic black edition you're going to see all the user usual subjects in this video I'm also looking to finish this one, but as you can see, those are the pages I finished. Those are the pages I still have to do, so that's going to take a while. And I have done, stay here, I've done this bicycle. And I've also done these very unhealthy foods you shouldn't eat. <laughs> but, you know, sometimes I eat them too, because sometimes you just have a craving, don't you? So, yeah, some fast food here in the Stone Mosaic Black Edition. Circulism art books, color by number. I collect all of these books and I love them. I don't work in them too much, so I decided to pick this page for this month. It's this cute little lemur on a red orange background. I don't know why. Maybe maybe they couldn't make the ground uh, ground the lemur is sitting on brown because they already had so many browns in the actual animal so i don't know but i think it's an interesting contrast between the background and the reddish color tones so i like that one another of my favorite books the lion's dots quests animals and i did one in here also slowly working to finish it and it's this bird still have a couple of pages in here and i'm glad because i don't really want to finish that book i really enjoy it i've saying this time and time again i really like the different shapes in here it's a lot of fun to color so one more page done in here the color by number quest pokemon which is also one of the ones that I want to finish. I really just picked a lot of usual suspects for the month of November. And I did this one here. And I used a, a green that I didn't really like and just wanted to use up. So I could have used a prettier pink. But yeah, I decided to use this one. So it is what it is. The Color Matrix book is also very pretty. I just started working in this more recently. And I did this turtle. And uh, as you might see, the color palette here is uh, rather muted. And I didn't have any of these colors here in my four or five coloring, uh, not coloring, alcohol marker sets. Where is my mind today? So I used uh, purplish, bluish colors instead. So it looks a lot more uh, colorful than it was used to be. But I still kind of like it. I like turtles. They're kind of cute. So there was a page in the color metrics. Then the Stained Glass Mandala, another coloring book that I came to enjoy in the recent months. And I did this page, which kind of reminds me of a cookie. I don't know why, but this brown color, it just reminds me of cookie dough, like when you baked it. And uh, yeah, it makes me kind of like I want to bite into that. So let's not do that because it's just a book. And then the Disney Zoom Zoom. This is such a cute book. I love all my Disney books. This one is really cute. And I did this page here and I used the Ardax alcohol brush markers. Not alcohol, acrylic brush markers. Oh gee, what's up with my head? I'm not prepared. I'm sorry. So yeah, acrylic brush paint markers. And um, there are some pros and cons to using, using an acrylic paint marker with a brush tip. 
um, you have to go over it a couple of times not to have streaking. So it's like pro and con, but I really liked it. And I really love the background here, even though it looks much darker on camera. It's actually a greenish tone in here. It looks like a dark blue. But yeah, really like that one. Then um, I both have the stone mosaic black backgrounds and I also have the individual stone mosaic books and I because I just felt like coloring more of these shapes so they were really enjoyable I picked the third one and I colored those two birds and this very nice beach scene with two cocktails I just assume it's a beach it's maybe it could just be a lake but whatever it was nice and fun to color so two in the stone mosaic book three then mystery colors baby animals i love this this is so cute i actually got all the mystery colors books that were available on german amazon and uh, i have now like five four five six maybe of those and there are some doubles but i don't mind too much the time between making two of these images could be pretty long so i probably won't even remember it so yeah i did this cute little baby bear here in the mystery colors then another one of the circulism books i picked the north and i have done two in it i did this one and the second one here very colorful that was fun actually the number six which is supposed to be peach colored looks white because the light is kind of blowing the color out I don't know if bringing it closer does anything. Probably not. So we're just leaving it at that. Okay. And finally, I have picked another page of George Tufexis, one of my favorite artists. And I did the very first one here. This very serene looking Santa Claus ready to give some gifts. A very nice scene. Enjoyed doing that. All with alcohol markers. Then, The Color by Number Beautiful Patterns was actually the first book that I picked this month, and I just felt like doing some mindless coloring to wind down after work and everything. So I did a full five pages just in a row, which is something I don't do very much. Usually I try to bring more variety and I pick at most like two or a maximum of three pages in the same book per month. But yeah, I did five in this one. So yeah, that was it. And then I have the Hachette books, like one, two, three, four, five, six more books to show you. And in the only U50 message mystère, mystery messages, I did the Bonjour one. And because this format is small, it's like an A5 format, if you're familiar with that, then um, it, it's difficult to use acrylic paint with a brush because there's so much detail so i used i think it was posca pens and uh, probably a mixture of other acrylic paint pens and i really like that the paint is opaque so yeah you have this nice bonjour page which means uh hello good day good day mate but we're in france okay <laughs> then the mandalas coloriage mystere and uh the the images in this book are incredibly detailed as you can see and same thing with uh the messages book it would just be too much of a hassle to try to get all the deal details right with was there a double or was that just me oh that's interesting there's double page it's this owl here and it's okay whatever anyway I did the first page here, this mandala. I really like the color combination and I did it with either the Kalur colored pencils or the Shuttle Art 180, no wait, 138 set that it was kind of, um, it was on sale during Black Week or Black Friday that Amazon uh, German, the German Amazon had. And uh, I thought, yeah, why not get another set of pencils? So I used them to do this. It's not opaque, you can still see the lines and numbers, but I don't mind because it still looks better than, you know, with, with a badly done acrylic paint job. So the Mickey and Friends. Also, this is a very detailed book. It has very detailed images with lots of colors and it would just be uh, very, you know, 
taxing to just do everything with a brush and paint and to get all the lines right and everything so i used colored pencils on this one as well again i think it's a mixture of the color and the prismacolors maybe some brute funers um I, I like the scene it's nice and the streaks are not as bad with the colored pencils as they would be with uh water-based markers so yeah, my first choice for these books is always acrylic paint, but if there is some reason I cannot use or do not want to use acrylic paint, I would definitely pick colored pencils, even though your wrist hurts a lot after doing that. But there are worse things than that. Then a newer of one of these books, the Looney Tunes, also worked in this one with colored pencils. And I did the Grandma and Sylvester and Tweety, a really cute image. Really like this one would definitely work in this one again in december then the les grands classiques tome one which is one of the ones that i'm very very slowly trying to finish and this is a one of the images i actually did with acrylic paint which is mushu having a, a a bit of an episode here i don't remember the exact scene in mulan where this happened Mulan is actually one of my favorite Disney movies, and I haven't seen it in so long. I definitely have to rewatch it again at some point, but I really like the image here. I love the contrast between the reddish and orange and yellow tones and the blue here. So really like this one. As you can see, a slight spoiler, I already um, drew the, the line out with a pen, and so the coloring becomes easier. I will, when I have finished the coloring, of course, then also go over the line out again with black acrylic paint but to start out i just used i don't know some water-based black marker just to get an idea of what the image is going to look like and this is the last image for this video it's the uh Xiu and chien coloriage mystery coloring book puppies and dogs and as so many times i did the very first image i just love going in order in all of my coloring books really so i picked this very first image of goofy here it's so cute he looks so nice and happy and and just glad to see you and uh, i really like that the acrylic paint covered up all the numbers and lines so it really looks like a finished artwork even though I can't really call myself an artist because I just colored it, but it was a lot of fun. So yeah, thank you so much for spending some time with me here and looking at my colored pages. And uh, I really hope to do some more pages, maybe get around the 30 completed pages mark in December, even though I know it's not about the amount that you color, but it would just be nice to kind of, you know, break my own record or something, you know. Okay, at this point, I'm just rambling. So thank you very much for watching. Have a wonderful rest of your day and maybe see you in the next one. Bye.